Okay, let's do an example or two of prime factorization of a little bit more complicated number. Um, not just a two-digit number. Let's look at the prime factorization of, let's go for 200. 200. Okay, so the way I do it is I write 200, yeah? Okay, and then I'm going to divide it. And I always start with 2, then I try 3, then I try 4. Uh, five and so on so you need to know the first couple of uh, prime numbers and if you get to a point in, in you don't know if it's a prime number you just test it okay so a 200 can be divided by 2 okay so I'm dividing 200 by 2 in other words I get 100 100 can again be divided by 2 and that gives me 50 again that's dividable by 2 to give me 25 25 can divide, be divided by 5 and that gives me 5 and 5 can be divided by 5 again to give me 1 and this is where I know I'm done is once I get to 1 so in other words I can write 200 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 and this gives me 2 cubed times 5 squared and you can do this in your calculator test yourself does 2 cubed gives me 8 and 5 squared gives me 25 8 times 25 is indeed 200 shall I do one more example let's do the number 510 okay 510 can be divided by 2 that gives me 255 I think yes 255 cannot be divided by 2 it can be divided by 5 so since I can immediately see that I can do it it can also be divided by 3 how do I know well I add up all of the numbers 2 and 5 and 5 gives me 12 12 is divisible by uh, divisible by 3 so 255 must be, but let's do 5, I think it's going to be easier, okay, so let's, doesn't matter the order in which you do them, 5 goes into 25 or uh, 5 times, and into um, 5 once, okay, so now I've got 51 left, 51 can be divided by 3, because 5 plus 1 is 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, so 3 goes into 5 th once, 2 remains, so 21, two goes in, uh, 3 goes into 21 7 times. So this is 3 and this is 17. Now you can try 17, it's not divisible by 2 or by 3, 1 and 7 gives me 8, uh, 4, 5 definitely not, uh, 7 no, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11 definitely not and once I've passed half it's obviously Obviously, I'm not going to get any other number that divides into it. Okay, so this 17 is a prime number. If you knew that, you could have stopped before. So we can write 510 as 2 times 3 times 5 times 17. That's the prime factorization of 510.